here. The White House is calling it a game changer in the fight against COVID-19. Uh, the drug remdesivir is in clinical trials right here in Southern California. The NBC4 I team first told you last month about the research happening over at uh, UCLA. And while scientists say it's important to complete those trials and then analyze the results, excitement is building about the drug's potential. The improvement was 31% better chance of recovering and getting out of the hospital. Dr. Anthony Fauci this morning on Today discussing the preliminary results of the first global trial of remdesivir. Once used to treat Ebola, it may now help treat COVID-19. I think it's really a, a opening the door to the fact that we now have the capability of treating. And I can guarantee you, as more people, more companies more investigators get involved, it's going to get better and better. The results released by the U.S. National Institutes of Health studying about 1,000 COVID-19 patients who were randomly given either remdesivir or a placebo. The typical patient who took remdesivir recovered in 11 days compared to 15 days for the placebo group. It's an extraordinary historic um, data that's coming very quickly. Dr. Stephen O'Day is with Providence St. John's in Santa Monica, one of the medical centers studying remdesivir. In this particular drug, remdesivir, um, it's really targeting the virus itself and trying to reduce its ability to replicate and spread. The NBC4i team showed you how for six weeks, Dr. Otto Yang and his team at UCLA have also been giving the drug to 15 coronavirus patients as part of a federal drug trial. Their results are not in yet. So far, Dr. Yang is reserving judgment. It's definitely not a silver bullet, right, or magic bullet. And Dr. O'Day cautions remdesivir is not a cure or a vaccine, but he says the results of the NIH study are a significant development. It's one piece of the puzzle, but psychologically, it's really going to build momentum for additional agents to help out and use as a backbone, in my opinion. So it's important, but certainly not the end to the story by any means. Remdesivir is made by Gilead Sciences in the San Francisco Bay Area. At this point, the FDA has not given it approval for emergency use, but experts say that decision is likely to come any time. If approved, Gilead says it can produce millions of doses by 2021. Mm. President